time, and as millions of Americans hit the skies to travel for this holiday weekend, some are sounding the alarm about air quality on airplanes. Reporter Connor Hansen explains why this issue is now catching the attention of Congress. When an estimated three and a half million passengers board a plane this holiday weekend, there's a safety concern they might not have thought about. But a bipartisan group of lawmakers says the air quality inside the cabin could damage your health. What a lot of folks don't know is that because of obsolete, flawed bleed air systems in almost all commercial aircraft, uh, these passengers and flight crews are being exposed to dangerous engine fumes and toxic chemicals. Congressman Maxwell Frost says most airplanes take in the air people breathe through their engines. That means it can be contaminated with oil and hydraulic fluid. Members of Congress were joined by flight attendants who work in the conditions every day. Some say they've had lasting health issues. This is wrong and change needs to happen. I'm tired of being poisoned. I just want to go to work and make my money and have my career. I should never, ever have to be worried about being poisoned in my workplace, period. People have reported chronic health issues, dizziness, vomiting, difficulty breathing, irregular heart rates, and memory loss. The Safe Air on Airplanes Act aims to force manufacturers to start changing the air systems on new and existing planes. Many pilots and flight attendants have left the industry due to these adverse health effects at a time when pilot shortages remain a concern both domestically and globally. Sponsors of the bill said fume events are reported to the FAA five times a day. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox 13 News.